So, what have I been printing? And here we have the wrench, or an adjustable wrench. This particular part was incredibly difficult uh, to print correctly, and the reason why I say that is because because this prints in one piece, there are these moving parts. So we have the the screw down here, and we have the adjustable part of the wrench up there. Because this prints is one piece, uh, we have a hollow section here and a, a hollow section in there. This actually prints with supports inbuilt and the tolerance between all those supports is quite narrow and also because it prints uh, horizontally like so uh, the, the top layer wants to rest on that supported bottom layer. So it took me a few goes to get this one right. Unfortunately I've had to throw a couple of attempts out but I finally was able to to get this to work. Uh, I had to print this at 105% uh, scaled um, within Slicer and the reason why I did that is to get an extra layer of separation between those supports that fit in those holes uh, and the actual part itself that you want to keep. After I did that it still took me about half an hour to um, uh, just to poke in through there, remove the supports and actually crack these um, moving bits to uh, loosen them up and finally get it to the point as you see now where it is nice and loose very easy to move quite impressed with this um, yeah so this is a very difficult part if uh, if you've tried this let me know in the comments and if you've had success because uh, yeah this was a pain in the butt uh, once again printed at 0 0.2 millimeter uh, layer height um, prints horizontally, uh, flat like so, so that's why this side is just uh, no texture and this side actually has all the imprinting. Even uh, the text that is on the handle has come up quite nicely, which I wasn't sure about actually because the printer has to uh, extrude then, then retract uh, every time it moves from letter to letter, but it seemed to do that okay. And um, yeah, quite happy with this. Here we have the gyro rotating rings. Um, okay, so this part uh, was printed once again as one piece. I, um, I printed at a lower resolution this time. I printed at 0 0.3 millimeters, um, and I haven't really printed at 0 0.3 in a while. It's always been 0 0.2. Um, and with the, uh, the E3D hot end, I must say, uh, 0 0.3 I'm quite impressed with those um, those layers have have been deposited down nice and smooth and, and level and um, geez it's uh, it's I'm very happy with that I think I might be printing at 0 0.3 more often now to tell you the truth uh, so once again this print says as one piece so we have three individual rings um, the tolerance between each of the rings is quite modest at 0 0.6 um, millimeters that's the gap between all these rings as they print so there was no cracking as such to remove this I mean where it actually prints on the bottom surface I did have to uh, just slice around uh, around each ring because they kind of bond together on the bottom surface but um, once you in quickly get through that this instantly starts to starts to spin uh, within each of the rings. So we have the, the center ring here, which spins independently of the middle ring here, which can spin independently of, well, the outer ring, I guess. So, um, yeah, this is an uh, you know, interesting type piece. I, I saw this on Thingiverse and I thought, oh, I'll give that a crack to see what it's like. And um, yeah, not too bad, happy with that. we have the Pink Panther Woman. Uh, this is an object that I've printed before. I have it on one of my other videos. It was printed previously in green ABS at 0 0.2 millimeter layer height. Um, I wanted to print this one again because I always wanted to print this piece uh, at a higher resolution at uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. And I've finally successfully been able to do it. The trick, it seems, or at least for me, with printing at 0 0.1 uh, millimeter layer height, is you require a cooling fan um, on on your print as it's printing. 
Uh, that stops the plastic from curling up back on itself um, between each layer being deposited. So just like the previous um, print that I've printed of this, uh, this is four perimeters um, hollow, so there's, there's nothing inside. Um, with uh, two or three bottom layers and same for the top layers and um, I can finally say I can now print at 0 0.1 millimeters with this 3D printer which is fantastic. Now I'm going to try and get some of the detail in this in the footage because um, it is sensational. You can even to the even to the eye you can't even see the layers they are they are, are that small. Um, even when, when just rubbing your, your finger over it, it's, um, it doesn't feel like it's been layered as such. It feels like it's almost been um, uh, plastic injected, molded. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy with this. I'm finally able to print, you know, fairly high resolution uh, prints. If you've browsed through that Thingiverse webpage, you would have at least come across a dozen of these different type of uh, statues or objects you can print. Uh, these are what they call low poly or low polygon uh, type objects. So uh, as you can see um, with this, this particular part, sorry, is called the low poly charamander. <laughs> I didn't actually know at the time until afterwards that this is actually a Pokemon character, believe it or not. Okay, uh, yeah, so low poly, so you can see all the, all the sides are, you know, quite coarse. It's almost like a low textured, um, uh, you know, character from like a computer game type thing. Um, just resembling the shape of a real life, or in this case, a Pokemon uh, object. Um, and yeah, I, I'm quite, quite happy with these as well. Um, you know, it's quite a, quite a nice, cute little, little thing to print. You know, you can see the, the little, little fingers on its hands there, and same with the... Uh, same with the toes there, and uh, printed at 0.2 millimeters, so I didn't have any issues with uh, the any, you know, with the eyes overhanging as such. That was okay. Same with same with the tail. I had to print this with a fan on either side of the print um, blowing, as if I just had a fan on one side, the other side would start to, to curl up. Uh, so this was a dual fan uh, job, this one, and um, I must have had my temperatures slightly off because every time the print head shuffled back and forth between printing the tail and then back to the main the main body, it would leave every now and then a, you know a string as such. So I think I might have to lower my temperature slightly just to get rid of that. I have had to you know clean that tail a bit to uh, to remove some some of the roughness, but. Um, And here we have uh, two pieces. We have the owl statue, and we also have the cuddling owls. Uh, the owl statue was um, an item that I originally tried to, to print, you know, when I first received my 3D printer. Um, I didn't have much success with it at the time, so I, I never actually finished printing this, but I thought I'd, I'd revisit, you know, failed attempts at particular objects, and, um, well, here's the result from, from one of them. Uh, so this particular item focus was printed at uh, 0 0.2 millimeters. Um, I reduced the scale of this. I think it was about about 50 percent. I, I reduced this down to just so it was a nice, you know, quite fast print to, to print. Um, you can see the all like the feathers on, on the wings and the uh, and the chest there and such. Actually, as because I scaled this down almost by half, Slicer had a bit of a hard time with all these all these feathers actually. Every now and then it would it would start spewing out at the very tips of these feathers, just a piece of plastic, because I guess it thought that it could print in midair, which it couldn't. So, uh, yeah, I've had to you know chop those little pieces of string out from almost uh, every of these little feathers down below here, but um, it hasn't detracted at all from the look of the object. Um, the owl is perched upon looks like a like a piece of wood or a, or a branch as such, and you can see like all the all the cracks um, in the wood. So that's come up quite nice. Same with the claws. Uh, well, the toes, uh, they, they've come up quite quite high resolution, so 0 0.2 millimetres is, you know, is, is still fairly good. Now, you, you'll see, and it's coming up on the camera, which is good, and you'll see, you know, some random layers here. So this isn't as smooth as um, other prints that I've had in the past with, with layers not depositing, you know, quite, quite uniformly. And the reason for that is shortly after printing this and that, my, uh, or the E3D, 
uh, clogged up, basically. Uh, so after these two pieces, I couldn't print anything after that, could not extrude any plastic. So I had to end up, uh, you know, cleaning that out to then progress. And then after that, obviously, I continued printing, and that's where the spanner came from. So uh, I'm not not too worried about, you know, all those um, lines on the back of this, because um, because you know I know it was purely because of the of a clogging hot uh, clogging hot end. Um, you can see even the little eyes, you know, at zero point two. So that's so that's not too bad, and. You know, just the, the ears up there as well have, have not come up too bad, although you can see there um, it hasn't extruded enough. So once again, that was part of the reason for the, the clogged hot end as such. Yeah, same there as well. It's not exactly perfect um, and underneath. So this is printed 30% infill. Uh, I think it was three layers, 0.2 millimeter. Uh, so uh, yeah, very happy that I could actually print that one. And finally, we have... Uh, this one, uh, the cuddling owls. So you know, this was one of the featured items on uh, Thingiverse a little while ago. So I thought, yeah, I'll give this one a crack as well. So this is quite a small piece to print. Uh, once again, you can see, you know, all those all those layers um, that haven't, you know, come up too nicely there. It's not depositing down evenly. Once again, what we're seeing here is an inconsistent flow rate. This has nothing to do with your z-axis or any of that, that type of rubbish. It's purely the, the plastic isn't coming down consistently and it's just showing you the result in the in the layers. So uh, yeah this one here printed at 0 0.2 and um, yeah, this is quite a nice piece. I might uh, mail this one off to my sister or something as a, as a, as a, as a gift. Um, Yep, hasn't extruded enough down there either. Actually, I might print this one again rather than sending this to her. That's not very nice of me.